Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 15 here on the frozen rock. So I think in the last episode, uh, I mentioned that I was short on power. Well, in actuality, I went up there and looked. And let's double check it again. But I believe I had run out of ice. So, obviously, uh, yeah, we're full now because I, I filled that up and everything is running. So we should actually be good on power. I, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, the other thing that we need to do or I need to do is I need to check on the distance that I have the turrets set up for. I really think they should be set up at their maximum. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think we've got to access it down down here. Uh, don't I have... Well, maybe I'm not going to... Check it out. Oh, turret uh, just went through us. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out uh, put a display or something over here so that I can access that. What do I got on me? Let's uh, take a look here. Three, one. Can I build it? I need. No, let's go grab the stuff I need for that. Actually, I could probably just run right here and get it. There we go. And then uh, we'll hop inside here and just put... Oh, son of... Oh, no, okay. All right, let's uh, uh, turn that like that. Weld this thing up. Alright, now let's see what we have our distance at. Uh, that's not going to get completed in a while because of what we need for it. But let's see what we got for a distance here. Oh, we do have it set at a thousand meters. Okay. Uh, Alright, everything's good on that. Let's check this one down here. I can't remember if I checked these or not. We're going to be building more of these, so... This, we have the display available here. So turret 1, 600 meters. We actually want that at 700. And we'll do the same thing with this one. And we will do the same thing with this one. There we go. Uh, and I think everything else is set. All right. The only other thing I've got to figure out here is better a better power setup for these things. Yeah, they, they have enough power now. But my fear is that that one windmill, especially in a time like this, so I need to get additional batteries set up on here at some point. And it might be a matter of swiping those lithium batteries again from the unknown signals. All right, so there was that. Uh, oh, we have a refinery now. You know what we can do? We can take all of this scrap. Let's see. Alright, let's just, uh, there we go. We should be a, oh, we don't, uh, we don't want this, that's not scrap. Alright, we should be able to grind all of this scrap down. Let's get over here. Let's plug this in. Okay. 
Okay. Can't you grind that? Oh. I wonder what grinds that down. Alright. We are a little short on power, though, it seems like. So, we are going to have to address that power at some point. Because we have... All right, let's go back. I think the cement mixer was trying to run a little bit at the same time. Yeah, so so this is now running. That's advanced computer scrap. Oh, that's an advanced computer. There's nothing, it's not scrap. And I don't think this can go in there because that I think that's done in the, the textile or fabric. Uh, uh, plant. So that's that. So let's go ahead and put those back in. But yeah, we're able to start processing that scrap. We can get that in here. We'll put those in there. Okay. Now, the next thing I needed to do we have to find bauxite, and I'm thinking back up to the Monk's Great Hall, go back up there and see if we can't maybe find some more clues to where some bauxite might be. So let's, uh, let's, we can, uh, oh, break the connection. Oh. Uh, shoot. I know what else I have to do. I have to empty this thing out. So, I haven't done... Alright, what, what in the world? Why don't you let me... Alright, you know what? Let's, uh... Probably because I got this turned off. Although it should have let me. Alright, let's see if it'll let me grab the stuff out of here. There we go. Alright. Let's get this stuff into the hopper over here. Okay, now I think we are ready to head up there. I've got uh, food and everything. The cargo hauler is unloaded. So let's detach that. Hop up here in the driver's seat. Uh, let's put these to auto. Remove the brake. And let's... Uh, back out of here. Let's just head back up and see what the monks have up there. Alright, let's see if we can find it again. It should be up in this valley. Once I get up there, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Alright, well we're back up here at the monks hall. Let's just go back inside. Let's check this place out. We already checked him for a data pad. I wonder if uh, any of these guys down here have any information. I don't remember if we looked at all of them. Let's see if he has something. Is it not showing? Three lockers. All right, well, doesn't appear that he has anything. Let's see. I wonder 
why it's not letting me look at their should be able to see inside their backpack. Well, check in here. Nothing in here. Oh, there we go. Freight. Let's, uh... Alright, now let me go look in here. Oh, there we go. He's got a data pad. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see what we got. Let's uh, let's see what that data pad has to say. Engineer Keenan, I have been given an assignment to go to the new bauxite mine. Well, imagine that. That's what we're looking for. Uh, it is scheduled to start production at these coordinates tomorrow oh wow uh this is exciting as this will be my first ride in the flying machine the hell does that mean flying machine i get to view this new operation for my continued training well looks like that kind of got cut short flying machine that disturbs me a little bit well here's the gps markers let's uh create that okay close that let's go to our GPS and we want to create new from the clipboard uh, oh copy to the clipboard did I do that right Oh, here it is, right here. Okay. Well, let's uh, go back out and see if there's something that we can... Well, first off, let me check. Let's check that again. GPS. would be this one. Let's show on the HUD. Okay. Truck unknown. That's, ah, crap. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's get back to our GPS. Let's turn that off. Turn that off. Ah, I bet it's that one right there. Let's show that on the HUD. Let's turn that one off. Okay. There it is. Bauxite deposit. Oh, I hope not. Well, we're not going to get to it going up that way. Alright, let's drive and see if we can find this thing. I got a sad feeling that we are not going to be able to get to it just driving there. I think this is going to require us to build a flying machine. Well, which could be worse things in life, but I wasn't quite ready to do that. We can do that with hydrogen. Alright, let's see if we can maybe maybe we can just kind of drive around this way. But let's get down here and get a better feel for where this might be. Uh, yeah, just some nice smooth terrain here for sure. What the hell's that? Ah! 
I wonder. Looks like a cargo container. Well, let's stop and investigate that. I have no idea what this is. Let's park that. Uh. Oh, I bet it was something I might have... I bet it was one of those unknown things that I might have missed grinding it all the way down. Well, let's get rid of it. We don't need any scrap hanging around out here. I'll be darned. Okay. Back in the driver's seat. And... Let's see. Yeah, let's uh, drive straight ahead. Actually, let's see if we can drive this away. Let's get up this right here. Yeah, get out of that hole. Okay, all right. Now, it's back to our left. I can still see it. Let's, uh... Let's hop out. It's back up. In to the mountains back up and in there. Let's drive around to the other side and see see if we can get there. Okay, where are we going here? Besides in circles. There we go. Let's back this way. Okay. Well, shoot. I hope... Well, I got an idea. Well, we can build a hydrogen. I think we have all the technology to be able to build a hydrogen flying craft. Probably not going to look pretty, I can guarantee you that. Because I got a bad feeling that this is up where we can't drive to it. Yeah, it's only three kilometers, four kilometers away, but it's up in that sheer mountainside. Uh, we'll kind of drive right up here where we can see up into this valley. It's still back off to our left. Let's uh, get up here. Yeah, this looks like a good spot to stop. Let's, uh, let's hop out here. Ah, oh, look at where it's at. It's up onto that freaking top of that damn mountain. Yeah. Flying machine it is. All right. I will uh, catch back up with you all when I get back to the base. All right, I'm back at base. I got waylaid. I went after a uh, unknown signal and uh, recovered a battery, which we can always use. That gives me four extra batteries. I'm kind of thinking that Another option would be out here on these wind turbines. Since they're running slow, it's just enough power to run these right now. But if something should happen, I wonder if I can build, or I think I can build, a router or a rotor mechanism and with a small head and then uh, place those batteries on there. I don't know, just ideas that I'm kicking around. Uh, let's look at uh, 
power blocks again. And uh, I know I'm getting distracted away from what I should be doing. Uh, geothermal pipe. What's that? That's new. Oh. This is a new... Uh, uh, the mod's been updated. Son of a gun. Version 1.6. Okay. Geothermal wellhead. Large wind turbine. Holy smokes. All kinds of new stuff. Solar concentrator? Wow. Alright. Well, I was thinking about this capacitor, which I think we now have the ability to uh, make capacitor cells, but I think... Huh. I wonder how this works. Alright. Processes geothermal heat produce steam. Must be connected by ge to a geothermal well tip. Huh. I gotta do some investigating on that. Anyway, alright. Uh, shoot. Uh, so, an alkaline battery. I could produce one of these and stick those in and see how long those will take. I think if we run back over here, I think our assembler or our fabricator can make make those. Let's uh, just see what the fabricator can do. Uh, the fabricator can make alkaline power cells, which takes copper, iron, copper wire, and ice. So we literally could make those. Uh, I might end up doing that. Alright, so next thing on the agenda, I guess, is we need to I need to start designing out a flying craft. And where do I want to build that at? Over here, I don't want to block any of these in. Uh, maybe a, a right over here will be fine for now because it's not going to be permanent. So if we I think, let's look at this. All blocks. Large hydrogen thrust thrusters. Uh, industrial large. So we're not actually. It's going to be small. So let's. Uh, uh, yeah, let's bring this down here for now. And that's certainly large. Uh, there we go. So, a small hydrogen thruster for a small block is 10, 10 large tubes, 22 metal grids, 20... So, we literally, we have the ability to build these. Alright. So, let's start with something like this. Actually, I tell you what, let me get kind of a basic framework down and then I'll catch back up with you all once we have that kind of laid out or kind of what I have for my thoughts. So, talk to you in a bit. Well, as you can see, I haven't gotten very far on designing my flying machine. I am going to have to think about this and sketch some things out on how I want to do this. I haven't done much with hydrogen and trying to set the tanks up and this also has to be able to haul uh, bauxite back if, if that mine is indeed uh, operational up there. 
So I've got to do some thinking, drawing some stuff out, and trying to figure out exactly how I want to design this. So the other thing I do need to get uh, taken care of is creating a garage for uh, for the uh, buggy because we've got to get it protected. I don't think we can go I don't know how much longer we can uh, be here unnoticed, let's say. So what I've started to do was kind of shape out the garage area. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to put walls up in around. I think this is as deep as I need to make it. So uh, I think the buggy only, if I have three blocks high, that'll be plenty of clearance. So it's a matter of just shaping this out and putting a floor in uh, and then I'll have to run the power over to here, which is not a problem. We can do that. That'll be easy enough to build. And I'm thinking about having uh, an entrance coming in from up here, kind of building this. This is where I've kind of got this. So we'll kind of shape this down, have a walkway, have some stairs in. Uh, and then this is going to be the entrance to the garage. So I just got to shape this out and probably deepen this somewhat. And then I'm thinking about, I don't know if I'll put doors in or not. Maybe something's kind of somewhat similar to what is up there at the Monk's Hall. But I don't know if we can uh, afford that yet or if we have the ability to build those. Uh, but certainly I need to shape this out so I can get the buggy down here and park. That'll give it some protection. So uh, I think uh, I think that's what I've got to start working on now. And then once I kind of get into my mind, get my mind squared away on how I want to build my flying machine, then I can get back to that. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update on where I'm at. I'm going to do a little more shaping on here. And uh, once I get this a little more shaped out, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Well, I am uh, back. I've been working on the garage and as you can see, I've kind of laid out five blocks here to see how wide the buggy is and it looks like I, five blocks will do it. Let's hop up here. So that uh, gives me clearance on this side and clearance on this side. And I need to be at least three blocks high, at least on my depth over there in the garage. So let me go show you what I've got done over here. At least starting to get the framework laid out. And we'll go in where the front entrance is going to be. So we'll end up coming in over here and driving in. I've got to shape, shape this out a little bit more. Uh, I need to go one more wide. It looks like I've got four right here now. One, two, three, four. So I need to go one more width wide here. I've got a ramp coming up. So what I'm going to do is build this up. I'll be able to drive it down into here and then we're gonna back it up over to here so that it'll be uh, kind of tucked away. Uh, I'm not going to build any walls in, at least not yet. I might eventually, but what I want to do is kind of shape this all out and we'll just have stone walls and then I can actually build one block up out through the top so that we can connect in power down into here and then I'll put a charging station in and basically the buggy will be down here uh, in out of the way and like I said I'll push this back a little bit farther maybe a couple of more more blocks back 
and I can park it in over here and so there's no way that a, a drone or anything like that can get into this section because I'll have uh, the walls blocked off from that way. Anyway, that's my thought. I'd starting to take shape down here for the garage. And I think next time we'll try to finish up the garage. And I'll have a better idea on how I want to build out my flying machine. I just uh, started trying to lay it out. And I just got uh, kind of got stymied. So those are things that we've got to get done. I've got to get the garage I got to get the flying machine so we can get up there and hopefully get the bauxite out of that bauxite mine and then finish getting some more uh, perimeter defenses set up uh, and then hopefully we'll be making progress and I need to find out what all is in uh, the the new update for the uh, overhaul 1.6 all right well kind of hope you enjoyed the uh, episode today i don't know if i got a whole lot accomplished we did find out where bauxite is not that we really wanted to find it what there on the top of that flipping mountain but that's where the bauxite is so that's where we have to go and uh kind of got at least under you know something laid out so that i know that i'm confused on how i want to build the flying machine and then we've got started on the garage. So I think uh, we did make some progress today. We always make a little bit of progress. Anyway, all right, we're going to call it uh, a day as the sun is about to come up out here. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, that was day 15 on the frozen rock. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.